Okay. Weird, I had to reset my settings. Okay. Hunt down. Um, yeah. Hunt down. Okay, yeah. Some uh, bottle in. Okay, cool. So I'll go this way. I haven't played this game yet since yesterday. I've been, uh. I'm not, not, not even supposed to be up here. I'm supposed to be in. I'm supposed to be in this way, right? Oh, tell me it's so stupid. Where the heck is the entrance to this gate? Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I remember. How do you get in there? Oh no, I'm supposed to. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to show some keys first. <sighs> Getting too far ahead, I'm supposed to get the keys first before I can go in there, yeah. So yeah, I want to take the keys. It's one. And then I'm supposed to and then I'm not gonna then I'm supposed to defeat him. <laughs> Once I get in there. One more and I can't find it. Hmm. Oh, there. Found it. Found it. I've been trying to spot it. This place already freaks me out. With the weird noises and stuff. There we go. Yes, that was fun. Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> this game's free. Take the keys. Okay. Well, I can unlock the gate, defeat the guy. Okay, I know where we are. I should know how to finish this. Cause I. Cause of the bitch. I gotta find the front door, and it's not this one, obviously. I think is it, is it this one? It's not this one. Is it this one over here? Yeah, I told you defeat. Mm hmm. How to guess? Knew it. Here it is this one. I'm gonna wait for him to be spawned. to get rid of, I need to put some food, you know, over there. I can start using that and that. Fine. No, I'm gonna go. Okay. 
Okay. And number three is up there. Okay. There we go. I will not repent, nor will I fall. It is you whose soul will be forfeit. Or Q. He's almost dead. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. The righteous there we go. will always return. Cool. What ton? Two insane minutes. We just to the fast have a point, which I don't really want to do. I might as well, yeah, I'll, do, I'll, do, I'll do three, I'll do, do the third quest to get that taken care of, I'm already here. Yeah, so we need 270 meters and I can use my horse, so. It's like I don't really wanna... I tend not to leave an area and so it looks like quite quest at times. Why not, I mean, quick fast travel, but I'm like... 22 and 21 meters. And not, not even that, because I'm, I'm already here, and that's the... Yeah, that, that's no way, that, that's... No way is this 240 meters. I'm only here, so... Okay, search for... Oh, it's supposed to be... Supposed to be oh. It's one of these quests, but it's supposed to be in a group of two. Yeah, I can see why, because th those enemies are... Uh... Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I, I can see why those enemies are tough to defeat more than normal. So... It is done, then. The tragic tale of the once brave brother Umberto finally draws to a close. I am grateful to you, my friend, for helping me atone for my part in all this. We will never know if I might have prevented these atrocities. You are kind to say so. And indeed, we must look forward, never back. Speaking of which, I gather you and Ionas now seek to remove the curse on care done and claim it for the Soul Wardens. I suppose that's fitting. I must apologize. I judged the Wardens unfairly, perhaps during the Crimson Madness, but most certainly now. You've proven the Order is honorable and strong. With a corrupted returning, I salute your courage in facing it. I will return to Calvary and seek other ways I can help restore the Brightwood. Perhaps Pennyfather will have grown a spine by now. Either way, I will find some way to serve. I'm not sure I have it in me to face the Crimson Menace once more. This business with Umberto has left me feeling my true age. I will have to consider the offer carefully. And then, perhaps I shall join you at care done. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I can level 43, let's go. Yeah. 
Yeah, that or not. Okay. I had a flash of a point, but I'm not inside one. There we go. Honestly. Yeah, so I'm, again, I'm at the max. Again, I'm, I'm at the max on the Fresh have a point. So I gotta spend those tokens. Okay. This is in it. It's over here. How do I have to get it? Wait. Uh, how do I have to get that? Oh, out of here. Tell me out. Okay. <laughs> Confused, but we're good. Um. Wrong way. Is, wait, is it this way? No. So it's this way. No. Wait. So it's this way. Wait. 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 I'm confused. <laughs> Which way is it? This way. No. Wait. Is it this way? Wait. Wait. Is it? Oh, it's this way. Yeah. Okay. But how? Because that's the... Wait. Oh, it's gonna have me go through the... No. Wait, what? I guess I... It says I can go through here. I don't see how. But... It says I can go... Up here? Yeah. There can't be another flash of a point here, can there? I mean, not flash of a point, another entrance? Here. There is it. Am I chipping? No. Okay, I'm, okay, yeah, I'm not chipping. Because it says that you can go up here and then go, go, go out here. Where, you know, in the sign, but I need to go out, and then, okay. So I need to go that way. And then, then oval. Yeah, I knew I couldn't do that. Yeah, I need to go this way. Yeah, so I need to go that way. So I need to jump up here, jump up here. Jump up here, go this way. Wait, am I going the right way? Yep, I am going the right way. Cool. There we go. And of course I've been spotted. I can always get spotted. Okay, there you 
that's why I don't think I'd be able to do this because the enemy didn't pop up for some reason. Respawn. Uh, it's the thing as I need. <sighs> I knew it was because I died there because I can't. Hmm. That quest is George Foy. That quest is over there. Um. Yeah, let me just do number three. Uh -huh. Why do I want to? Grab that note. No, because I was not. Uh, I saw a note, but I didn't. This was the island I was just at, okay. Almost dead. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. For now, I just did the main class. It's fun. Like I need two or three people to to defeat all those enemies with me. You know. That's my problem. 
because I don't have the, the enemies. Oh, I could have found Shabbat Day, okay, but why not do that? Why not have a walk? Eventually, welcome back, Warden. If I had known the difficulty in claiming the fortress, I might have thought twice. However, I understand it was Umberto's actions that cursed these grounds, and somehow, he was the last one standing? Hmm. It seems his soul was tormented, and perhaps that drove him to make poor decisions. This island eventually makes fools of us all. Come though, speak with the young lady. She has made all kinds of preparations. Oh, you were just in time to interrupt Jonas sharing another tale of your exploits. Not that I wasn't enjoying them, of course. But I'm keen to take a shot at removing this curse. Assuming you have the heart gem. Are you ready? Keep in mind, this isn't an exact science, but whatever bad deeds the Vigil performed here, the worst of them were in the Undercroft. I've anointed the entrance with pure Azoth water and placed the sigils. Take Umberto's heart gem into the Undercroft and destroy it. If what I'm hearing is true, and it protects some part of the soul, you may face some resistance. Bottom line, he must answer for what he did. Yep, I kind of knew it. There's gonna be another. Yep. Uh huh. Gonna be another boss battle. Make sure I'm ready for it. That is 350. This is 340. So salvage shield. Okay. Make sure I'm ready for my boss, the boss battle. I should be... Uh, maximum players is one. <sighs> I'm scared already. I know how this works. You place it on there and then you break it and you have to beat the enemy. My soul yep. will not be so easily vanquished. Boss fight. So good. Oh, 
that, and then he's gonna suck up energy from me, so he can heal himself. Like, how is this fail? Honestly, it's not. Okay, yeah, much easier. I must admit, I really wasn't sure this would work, but look at this place! I'd say it's as pristine as the day it was built. You and I make a good team. <laughs> Funny, Yona said the same and Galahad's on board. So I think I might allow myself to go along with the flow. Speaking of, I didn't push you on this before, but something happened to you at the Azoth tree, didn't it? I told you that tree had power, didn't I? Its wisdom is directing you, of course, telling you what to do next. I think Galahad mentioned a sorceress with a purple eye. Maybe we need to find her. Ask him about it. You've done well, young one. As menacing as that corrupted army and Great Cleave may be, I believe we are safe here. I will maintain my focus on recruiting and training new Soul Wardens to defend the place. You, on the other hand, have no such luxury. You've been quiet, but I can tell the voice of the Tempest still speaks to you. You are connected through the pure Azoth you were exposed to, and corruption strive to claim it. It means you have been imbued with a power that exceeds my understanding, and it makes you both a target and a threat to the enemy. I do not envy the destiny that lies before you, nor do I know where it leads. I will not pretend to understand such things as the Azoth Tree, but neither will I deny its primal power. You should heed the vision as Sun suggested. Ask Galahad about this mysterious sorceress with the purple eye. It seems Providence has already seen fit to verify I made the right choice in coming. I hear this talk of the sorceress with the purple eye, and I believe we have another quest to undertake together. Yes, though I know her by another name. The corpse crone of Weaver's Fen. I have doubts about her existence, 
but may a penny father in Calvary's, obsessed. Go and hear his account, and then meet me on the road to the fen. again? Oh, no, please! I have nothing more to confess! You've already exposed my secret shame, and I understand you managed to lure Sun away on some crazy enterprise. What more can you take from me? The corpse crone! Don't say that name so loudly, lest she be summoned. She is the true cause of all this darkness in Brightwood. Indeed, I have written an account. Just uh, read it for yourself and know the horrors she wrought. Long ago, a witch crept into the eastern fens. This was the corpse crow, and she cast a wicked spell. The deadly hex spread like a sickening plague. The island's immortality was twisted and made obscene. The curse of the lost would haunt our lands. The people sought salvation from this plague. Desperate, we believed conviction our only course. We discovered the soulless could hide amongst us. Committing them to the cold earth was the only answer. Eventually, the crone's purpose became clear. Her hex would bind the restless lost to her will. To this day, her foul curse lingers. Until her evil can be forever extinguished. There now, you know the full story. Whatever terrible deeds you attribute to the Bright Vigil, they were victims too. Tell me though, do you mean to track down the vile crone and hold her to account? Be wary then, nosy traveller. Weaver's Fen is a foul territory, ridden with sickness and despair. All the crone's doing, no doubt. I wish you luck, though. Or perhaps a miracle. You'll need it, I fear.
You've heard Pennyfather's sordid tale, have you? I do not give that man's story much credence. Neither do I have any desire to meet this sorceress. Such types cannot be trusted in my experience. We've come this far, and discovering the truth about the source of the Lost Plague seems wise. But there's a great deal of ground to cover, and little time, if the corrupted are as strong as they seem. Careful not to give too much credit to the Azoth tree. Nature here does not always align with humanity's best interests. If she exists, I suspect, however, the corpse crone may be hiding secrets of significant power. There's a stalwart knight named Sir Britmar who once protected the Fen. If she remains, I shall request her aid in this venture. Meanwhile, the crone's curse began in Perryville, so I suggest you search there. Do be careful. Hello! Perfect timing. I'm Nali, the architect. You've probably seen my work in the Ebon Scale settlement. Say, do me a favor. Take a look at this bridge and tell me, how old do you think it is? Yes, exactly! These stones have been here as long as anyone can remember. If we can learn how the ancient architects reinforced these structures, imagine what we could accomplish! So, I have a theory. If my assessment is correct, this bridge is over 10,000 years old. I simply must get my hands on some samples to prove it. Uh, could you help me with that? Oh! <laughs> 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 
Tablets quickly proved a waste of time. Whatever reason the ancients cultivated them, it was not to defend against the crimson madness. Conversely, the mush fire my efforts have yielded results. I have exposed several volunteers to and while the mixture is fine It's clear that it works. With Unfortunately, I noticed right away that the cure somehow deadened the volunteers' senses. And a uh, short time later, they seemed to lose their ability to communicate. Later, their eyes began to glow and chilling so And they eventually became completely non responsive. The villagers have taken to calling them Mother I have convinced that with a few 
few more tests. It can eliminate these disappointing side effects. But, of course, we are having great difficulty in recruiting more volunteers. Even Britmar is having doubts. <laughs> The situation here in Perryville is deteriorating by the hour. It seems one of the lost somehow passed their condition onto a family member who had not been a volunteer. I offered to assess and treat the poor woman, but I was met with nothing but anger and fury. Everyone seems to have forgotten that this effort is in pursuit of protection against a far greater evil. <gasps> with a few further tests. I am certain I can perfect the cure, and perhaps even find a remedy. If I am to find more volunteers, however, he will not be here. Britmar is helping to pack up all of my equipment and research, and we will leave this town of fools in the morning. Good riddance! Let it be hereby known that the Shadow Hunters of Carburg are offering a reward for anyone providing information. That leads to the capture of the corpse crone. The foul sorceress has dark hair and a pale, violet scar in place of a missing eye. She was last seen fleeing her home in Paraville, but it is believed that she remains in hiding somewhere in Weaver's Fen. Let it be further known that anyone who harbors or abets the crone shall be held to equal account for her crimes and shall be subject to the same sentence. I hope you had better luck than I, my friend. The legacy of the corpse crone seems to have claimed every town in this region. The only thing I've learned about Sir Britmar is that she departed from this area in some haste. You found the crone's grimoire. Quite an important clue. Filled with records of her vile conjurations, no doubt. But if it makes mention of Britmar, then I should very much like to study it further. Though the Bright Vigil never came this far east, it seems there were those who sought to hold the crone accountable for her crimes. I presume you saw the posters. These shadow hunters gathered in Carburg. Perhaps. I've just come from searching Britmar's home there. The crone's curse swept through Carburg like a hurricane. It appears the entire town fell lost in hours, and the curse still haunts the streets like a contagion. Very well. I should spend time studying this journal for clues to the crone's fate, and that of the brave and loyal Britmar. Learn what you can in Carburg and then meet me on the town's outskirts. Light be with you, Warden. For me. Yes. We won't allow you to profane this place with your fouls. Enough! I don't have time for your ignorance.
This is the sad fate of humankind on this island. All of us, everyone, doomed to lose their souls. That is why we fight. This journal tells more lies than truths. I simply cannot believe Britmar would support this foul sorcery. What did you learn in Karberg? Did the hunters manage to apprehend the crone? She cursed an entire town. Such power rivals the magic of even Myrdin himself. Perhaps... That explains Britmar as well. Yes, surely the crone had ensorcelled my brave friend. That must be it. The only place that hasn't fallen lost in this dreadful swamp is the ramshackle settlement of Twillen. I should like to go there and inquire after Britmar. I cannot rest until I find an explanation for all this. If the journal is to be believed, the crone spent centuries studying the ancient ruins in the Fen. That is undoubtedly where she acquired her power. The last entry makes specific mention of the ruins at Vega Bridge. That makes sense. I hope you find answers. I hope we learn the crone ultimately faced justice for what she did. I will go on to Twillen and inquire about both Britmar and the crone. I'll await you there. Look at this beautiful basalt you've brought me! I wonder where the ancient sourced it from? Now, let's see about that aging. Huh. Huh. Wait, that can't be right. 
Well, th this is puzzling. Judging by the level of erosion, sediment layers, and my chemical analysis, these stones could be several orders of magnitude older than I first guessed. It defies the imagination. I need another sample from a newer site to be certain. Master Ting Long once theorized that the bridge that spans the marshes was built in a more recent era. Could you bring me samples from South Vega Bridge for comparison? You're back. Let's take a look at these new samples you found. Oh, interesting. These are less weathered, but only just. Oh, fascinating.
I've translated the glyphs on the bridge, and it's clear this passage was once a major supply route. Just as with the obelisk, the bridge was protected by magical devices, strategically placed to ward away some danger, almost certain of corruption. If I could find one of these devices, I had hoped to deconstruct it and determine what energy powered the ancients' wars. <sighs> However, I've searched the length of the bridge, and whatever devices the ancients placed have long since been looted or destroyed. <sighs> the only possibility is that one remains somewhere in the bridge's upper framework. If, if I can get up there. <sighs> Well now, your timing's as fickle as the tides. It sure would have been nice if you'd shown up before I spent six hours trying this myself. This chest is locked by some puzzle, and that's really more your thing than mine. After you left Cardon, that alchemist suggested you might need help tracking down the crone and all. Of course, she also mentioned treasure in these ruins. And here we are, a bit of both if we can get this chest open. Did she? Well then, I'm willing to bet she was after whatever's in this chest. If you can figure the lock, we'll find something inside. Probably something worth some coin. devices on top of the bridge and there is even a flicker of power lurking inside it this is the key to the answers i've been seeking the list of experiments i can conduct with this is nearly endless <sighs> hopefully this will renew sir britmar's resolve she recently declared her intent to abandon this endeavor but even she should realize the potential of this apparatus if not, I will have to convince her, because I will most certainly need help getting it down from here and hauling it to Carberg. So, did you find anything inside? I always fancied a crown for myself. One of those big jewel-studded affairs. Nothing but a mouldy piece of paper. Is that all? This swamp really is cursed. I suppose that's the kind of clue you were looking for, though, isn't it? Does it tell you where to search next? Well, Twillin isn't so much a town as a pile of wooden planks over the muck, but there's a tavern there, at least. I'd ask around. Someone in Twillin knows what became of the crone. I bet my boots on it. <laughs>
fact this rank stack of hovel stands as the last safe place in the Fen is testament to the crone's evil legacy, like Pennyfather. Many here refuse to speak her name aloud, nor do they have word of Sir Britmar. Did she? Now that is encouraging, though it also disproves the theory my friend was ensorcelled. If Britmar abandoned the crone, she may have returned to Hinbroken in the southern marshes. I shall check there next. If Sir Britmar were with us, we would have not only the benefit of her knowledge, but of her patience and strategic thinking as well. Without her, we have only the terrified and distrustful people of Twillen. You should. Unfortunately, many people lost faith in the knights during the Wars of Crimson Madness. Your inquiries about the Corpse Crone may get more honest answers. Meantime, I'm off to Hinbroken. to honor the old ways. We welcome you as an honored guest. Our numbers are few now, but if there is anything that will enhance your visit, just let it be known. Only the most foolish or desperate would seek out the old sorceress of the swamp. I wonder, which are you? Hmm. If anyone around here knows how to find the crone, it would be Bella Ruby. But I didn't tell you that. What drags you into the vile waters of Weaver's Fen, Traveler? Bilge and bastards, that's all you'll find here. <laughs> Anyone who could leave this place has left long since. How dare you speak the name of that hideous fiend? She twisted the land and turned the living into lost. We are still burdened by the tyranny of her evil magic. And the best we can do is try to forget it. She's still out there, lurking in the bog, 
taking anyone she finds back to her foul lair and stealing their souls. Don't be a fool. Many have sought vengeance against her. None have returned. there. What brings you around these parts? Most people have better places to be than Weaver's Fen, but for some of us, it's a safe refuge. A place where we can be who we want and live how we want. Oh, not to harm her, I hope. You should know, the crone's quite capable of defending herself. She's not a monster, you know. For those in need, the crone has been known to help. Despite what others may say, the corpse crone doesn't want to turn everyone lost. She doesn't snatch people up in the night or do anything they don't ask for. I saw the crone myself at one point. You see, I was struggling with my identity, who I am inside, and she helped me. She gave me these wonderful medicines and now everyone sees me in the way I see myself. No, but people need someone to blame for their misery and they'll choose the easiest target to petition the crone, follow the trail of torches on the south road and be respectful. She has no patience for fools. Well met, traveler. People call me Torchy, on account of my interests. Mm -mm. You have my word, however. Despite what they say, I swear I am not a threat to society, eh? <laughs> Ah, well, if you have not heard anything, then perhaps it is best that we keep it that way, huh? Suffice to say that I am no longer welcome in the Restless Shore settlement. It's really because of my research. I do! I am on a quest to discover a way to create an eternal flame. Perhaps you would help me? Scattered around Richmire, there are strange, long-burning torches. Get some of these for me. And I will reward you.
I'm impressed you made it this far. Most don't. You followed the light, so you must want something. Judging by your appearance, however, I'm guessing it's not a friendly visit over a cup of tea. You... Truly the wicked thrive, while the good suffer on this hellish island. The traitor Morgane is the corpse crone. I'll be damned. Oh, it seems self-righteous fools persist as well. Go back to your keep, Galahad. Your king is gone, and your duty with him. Is that why you cursed Britmar? We saw the sorry fate she received for trusting you. You haven't changed at all. Britmar didn't deserve her fate. You know nothing of the truth. An unlikely day I'll hear the truth from you, but you'll answer for what you've done, Morgane. To Britmar and to our Lord King. I am through being insulted by you. You can pound your head against this barrier all you want. We are done here. First, I, I didn't recognize her. Then, even now, I doubt my eyes. Oh, she is much changed. But there can be no doubt. That's the Enchantress Morgane. Sister to Myrdin, the Crimson Sorcerer and traitor to my Lord King. No, Morgane vanished during the Wars of Crimson Madness, just like Myrdin and the High King himself. This corpse crone business is now a lesser concern. She has far more important questions to answer. Damn it! Now it all makes sense. That's why Sir Britmar remained loyal to the bitter end. But I, I still don't understand. We all believed Morgane succumbed to the Crimson Madness along with her brother. Indeed, nothing could be more important. She believes she's safe behind this barrier, but I know her secrets. Oh, Myrdin used wards like this on his sanctum, and there's a way to break through them. There will be anchors scattered around this swamp. Destroy those, and we can confront her. I will remain here and ensure Morgane doesn't escape and vanish again. This time... She will answer for what she's done.